Amen. It's good to be in God's house one more time. And I thank Him and praise Him, you know, for, for what He's doing. And amen, just for what you see Him do, Brother Kenneth. And amen. And just for, you know, all of His wonders. And, and amen, when we don't even think He's moving, Brother Kenneth, He's move, moving and working behind the scenes and things. And, and amen. And, I'm just thankful tonight, you know, just for one more time, Brother Kenneth. And amen. That I can come and be in his house. And hey man, just it's just an honor, Brother Kenneth, to be able to come in his presence. Hey man, because the Bible you know, he even said that he dwelled here perpetually and and hey amen, what how truly blessed we, we truly are and and hey amen, I truly thank God for that and and hey man, I've been praying, you know, most of the day. I got up early, Brother Kenneth, and you know, I asked, kept asking the Lord, you know, what He would have. And and hey man, sometimes it, it just takes a little while, Brother Kenneth. And and hey man, and as I sit in our house, and like I said, I got up about four o'clock, and this morning, and just sit down and begin to talk to the Lord and getting His Word, and you know, and you know, just ask Brother Kenneth. And, you know, what he would have, you know, not what I would have or, or, you know, but that his will be done, you know, and, and, you know, I wanted to do, Brother Kenneth, just be a willing vessel for him and, and amen, do, you know, what the Lord would have me and, and amen, as I was sitting there reading and today and, and praying and, Amen, Sister Jen's message, amen, that she brought forth Thursday night, and, and amen, I guess, you know, with the help of the Lord, it's going to be kind of a part two of that, you know, of the beginning, Brother Kenneth, and and amen, I, I begin to think about it, Brother Kenneth, amen, Sister Jen, she was in the book of Jeremiah, amen, chapter 18, and amen, starting out, and amen, with the help of the Lord, that's where, that's where we're going to be, but but amen, God knows what he's doing, and amen, he's in control, Brother Kenneth, and and you know, I truly thank God for, for what he's doing, and amen, what he's going to do, Brother Kenneth, and but amen, I'm going to start in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18. Amen, just starting at verse 1 here. The Bible says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in his hand of the potter, so he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. And amen, I begin to think about that right there, Brother Kenneth, just for a few moments. And and amen, the Bible says, amen, that pretty much hey, there was a, just a lump of clay, Brother Kenneth. And amen, and I begin to think about my life, Brother Kenneth, amen, down through the years, amen. And amen, as you noticed right here, amen, the Bible says, amen, that that clay was marred in his hands, Brother Kenneth. And, but amen, I'm thankful tonight, amen, that the potter didn't throw the clay away, Brother Kenneth. And, but amen, the Bible says, amen, it seemed good, amen, to make him another vessel. And amen, I'm thankful tonight, amen, that God seemed fit, Brother Kenneth. And amen, when I came to him, Sister Cindy, amen, I was marred. And amen, in other words, amen, I was broken, Brother Kenneth. And amen, I was just that lump of clay, Brother Kenneth, amen, when I came, amen. I didn't know nothing or much about the Lord, amen, when I first came to him. Amen, I was broken and I was marred, amen. But thank God I was still in his hands, Brother Kenneth. And amen, I'm thankful tonight, amen, that the Bible said, amen, that it seemed good, Brother Kenneth, amen, to make another vessel. Amen. And he did here. Amen. And I begin to think about that, Brother Kenneth. Amen. As you, if anybody knows anything about Potter, Brother Kenneth. Amen. That that clay. Amen. You just start out with a lump of clay. Amen. And, and amen. The Bible says here, amen, he is working to work on some wheels, Brother Kenneth. Amen. In other words, amen. That clay was in the potter's hand, Brother Kenneth. Amen. He began to work a work. Amen. Begin to mold 
into shape, amen, and what, you know, what the Lord would have, amen, into another vessel. And amen, I begin to think, amen, just for a moment, Brother Kenneth, amen, what if, amen, he just took that, amen, that clay off and just laid it to the side, amen, and done nothing else with it, and amen, I begin to think, amen, how Sister Jen said, amen, to make a vessel of honor, amen, that God could pour into, and amen, I begin to think, Brother Kenneth, amen, in order for that vessel, amen, that clay pot to be used, amen, something's got to happen to it brother Kenneth amen it can't stay on that wheel forever brother Steve but amen there's coming a time amen when we're in the hands of the potter brother Kenneth amen there's coming a time that we're going to have to come off that wheel brother Kenneth amen and be put in the fire for a while and amen it's only when we come out the other side of that fire amen when we come out refined amen just as pure as silver and gold brother Kenneth amen all the impurities took out Amen. And that glaze, amen. It's only then, Brother Kenneth, that amen, that that pot in the fire don't break. Amen. If it don't crack. Amen. We're living in a day and hour, Brother Kenneth, we're many. Amen. When they're in the fire, they fold and run. Amen. They break in the midst of the fire. But amen, I'm here to encourage you. Amen. In the midst of that fire, amen, don't break. Amen. Don't change, but keep pressing on. Amen. For when you come to the other side, amen. You're going to be ready and prepared for the master's use. Amen. For God to pour into, Brother Kenneth. Amen. I begin to think, amen, about a message that I brought forth. Amen. The Lord took me back to it. Amen. In the book of John, chapter 5, Brother Kenneth. Amen. About the stirring of the waters, Brother Kenneth. Amen. I begin to think about the intimate folk and the blind and the halt. Amen. That no doubt Steve come there for many years. Amen. Trying to get in. Amen. When the water was troubled. Amen. The Bible says at a certain season. Amen. The angel of the Lord came down and troubled the waters. Amen. In other words, it was stirred, Brother Kenneth. Kenneth. Amen. Everybody knows the story. Amen. The first one that stepped in would be healed. Amen. That was one, Brother Kenneth. Then the Bible says a man that laid 38 years there, Brother Kenneth. Amen. That's the other one, I believe, Brother Kenneth. Amen. That he got changed. Amen. But Brother Steve, I begin to think today. Amen. Just as we are at a lump of clay, Brother Kenneth. Amen. And all the other intimate folk, Brother Kenneth, that was gathered around. Amen. Waiting for the troubled water. Amen. No doubt they were right there, Brother Kenneth. Amen. They seen the troubled waters. Amen. They seen the angel of the Lord stir it. Amen. Time and time again, Brother Kenneth. But amen. Only one or two were made whole, Brother Kenneth. I believe we're living in a day and hour, Brother Kenneth were many. Amen. They, they experienced the stir part, but truly they've never been changed. Amen. They've been there, Brother Kenneth and Brother Steve. Amen. They've seen amen, the trouble of the waters. Amen. They've seen even the stir. But amen, truly they've not been changed, Brother Kenneth. Hey, but amen, I'm living in, I want to be, amen, put in that fire, Brother Kenneth, and come out. Amen. And truly be changed. Amen. To be ready for the master's use. Amen. You see many sit around, Brother Kenneth. Amen. And they, they've they been in services. Amen. They've been in revivals, Brother Kenneth. Maybe where they felt just an overflow. Amen. Or a goose bump, Brother Kenneth. But amen. Went right back out the same way they come in. Amen. They've been stirred a little bit, Brother Steve, but not changed. Amen. How I want to be changed. Amen. I want to be changed. Amen. And ready and prepared. Amen. For the master's use. Amen. You see, just like I said, there's going to come a time. Amen. That we're going to be out of the potter's hand and put in that fire and that oven. Amen. What those saying is, amen, where the rubber meets the road. Amen. Are you going to stand in that fire? 
Amen. I like to encourage you. Amen. In the midst of that fire. Amen. Don't break. Don't fold. But amen. When you come out the other side. Amen. You'll be ready and prepared. Amen. Ready for his use. Amen. Many have seen stirred, Brother Kenneth. But amen. I believe many. Amen. Is fixing to come out of that fire. Hey, man, I believe we're living in a day and hour, Sister Cindy. Why? Because many's been put through the fire, amen, for the past some time, Brother Kenneth. And amen, they've seen the stirring part, amen, and they've been through the fire. Hey, man, I believe, hey, man, they're fixing to experience some change, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, why? Because, hey, man, they're that vessel, amen, hey, man, that the Bible talks about, hey, man, that it seemed good, hey, man, that it to make another vessel. Amen. You're important. Amen. In the eyes of God. Amen. He just didn't throw that lump of clay away. But amen. He shapes it and molds it. Amen. He works with it. Brother Kenneth. Amen. I'm thankful tonight, Brother Kenneth. Amen. That he just didn't throw me away at my first mess up. Amen. But I'm thankful. Amen. That God's grace was extended. Amen. But amen, I believe, amen, in this day and hour, Brother Kenneth. Amen, as I said, amen, many have seen, many experienced the stir, Brother Kenneth. But amen, just like here at that pool, Brother Kenneth. Amen, no doubt, amen, there's only just two, I believe, Brother Kenneth. Amen, that was made whole. But amen, I don't only want to be stirred, Brother Kenneth, but amen, I want to be changed. Amen, and the only thing, amen, that truly changes you, amen, is that precious blood, Brother Kenneth. Amen, that precious blood. Amen, I've seen many, Brother Kenneth. Amen, and no, I'm not judging them. Amen, they'll come in and say, man, that preacher stepped on my toes. Amen, but go back out and live like the devil. Amen, see, they've been stirred a little bit, but not changed, Brother Kenneth. But amen, I want them to be able to come in, amen, and have a relationship, amen, with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen, I want them to come in being more than just a little stirred, Brother Kenneth. Amen, I want them to come in and experience more than just a little troubled waters. But amen, I want them to come in, Brother Steve, and have a life-changing experience. Amen, something that's going to hold them, Brother Steve. Amen. And I believe... Amen. We're approaching. Amen. A day and hour. Amen. We're many fixing to come out of and Brother Kenneth. Amen. Ready and prepared. Amen. For God to begin to pour in those vessels. Amen. As Sister Jen said, to pour in. Amen. To where we can pour out. Amen. Why? Because I believe God's dealing with many hearts, many souls. Amen. Out there. And amen, God, I'll put it on my shoulders. God's wanting to prepare me to help those. Amen, he's wanting to prepare you. Amen, to help those. But amen, if I'm just standing back, amen, in the stirring part, Brother Kenneth, and not truly been changed, amen, I'm not going to be of much a help to them. But amen, I like to encourage you. Amen. I believe, Brother Kenneth, many. Hey man, it's fixing to come out of that fire. Hey man, they've been in the oven quite a while, Brother Kenneth. And hey man, I believe you're going to experience, start to experience change. Hey man, that you've never experienced before. Hey man, why? Because God is purifying. Brother Kenneth, hey man, because he said here many a time, Brother Steve, hey man, to come holy. Amen, for he is holy. Amen, and the Bible says a pure in heart shall see God. Amen, and I believe that's what's coming, Brother Kenneth. Amen, I believe we're living in a day and hour, amen, that many, Brother Steve, is going to get a hold. Amen, of what many have got a hold of, amen, in the Word of God. Amen, and watch what God begins to do. 
Amen. I want it to be more, Brother Kenneth, than just a little stir. Hey, man, I want more than just a little goose bump once in a while. But, hey, man, I want to be changed, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hey, man, stop being satisfied, hey, man, with where I'm at. But, hey, man, to come up higher, hey, man, and what God would have and be used by Him. Hey, man, in this day and hour which we live. Hey, man, how do you truly know you've been changed? Hey, man, the book of 2 Corinthians, verse five and ver- chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Hey, man, when we truly become born again, Brother Kenneth... Hey man, my way of thinking has changed. Hey man, the way that I walk changed. Hey man, the old man that I once was. Hey man, I've been changed. Hey man, just like hey man coming off that Potter's wheel, brother Kenneth. Hey man, I come. Hey man, from being a soft piece of clay. Hey man, but when I'm put in that oven and fired, brother Kenneth. Hey man, there's a change that takes place, brother Kenneth. Hey man, but when I come out of that oven, hey man. I'll be fit, Brother Kenneth, amen, for the Master's use. Amen. Long as I don't give in, Brother Kenneth, in the midst of that fire. Amen. Because, amen, the Bible strictly plainly tells us, Brother Kenneth, amen, in the midst of that fire. Amen. Even though God put, may let us put, put us in there, amen, he's right there in the midst of that fire with us. Hey man, he'll never leave us or forsake us. Hey man, just like the three Hebrew children, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, they had a made up mind from the get go. And hey man, I believe, hey man, we should have a made up mind from the get go, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, they made a statement, told Nebuchadnezzar, hey man, where God delivers or not, hey man, he is still God. Hey man, they were going to bow, hey man, to what, hey man, his God or bow to him. Amen. That's having a made up mind. And amen. The Bible tells me, amen, that the furnace was turned up seven times hotter than what it should have been heated, Brother Kenneth. It even slew the men, Brother Kenneth. Amen. That bound Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. And threw them in that fire. It even slew them, Brother Kenneth. But amen. When they were cast in that fire. Hey, man, I believe Nebuchadnezzar was one of the first seen. Hey, man, he said, Lord, did we not throw three men in that fire? But, hey, man, I see the fourth, and he looks like the Son of God. Hey, man, the Son of Man walking in the midst of those flames. Hey, man, hey, man, I believe God. Hey, man, let him see. Hey, man, why? Because I believe, hey, man, the faith, hey, man, the determination, hey, man, of those three Hebrew children, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, they had a made-up mind. Hey, man, that they weren't going to bow, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, when you're put through the fire, hey, man, were God delivered them or not, Brother Kenneth? They had a made-up mind. Hey, man, I like to encourage you. Hey, man, ask yourself, hey, man, do I have a made-up mind like that? But, hey, man, I believe we're living in a day and hour, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, man, he's been in the fire for a while now. But, hey, man, I believe they're fixing to come out. Hey, man, I believe you're on the edge, hey, man, of just coming out. But, hey, man, you know what the bad part about it, Brother Kenneth? Hey, man, many is just right there ready to come out of that fire and prepared for the master's use, and they fold or break. They give in. Amen. In the midst of the fire. But amen, I like to encourage you. Amen. I believe there's some, Brother Kenneth. Amen. It's fixing to come out of that fire. Amen. Ready, amen, for God to pour in. Amen. To where you could pour out. Why? Because I believe there's many souls coming. Hey man, I believe they're already on their way, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, and they're going to need help. Hey man, they're going to need help. Hey man, hey man, they they don't come just to have something to do, Brother Kenneth. 
Hey, man, I believe they're coming because God sent them here. Hey, man, there's some, hey, man, coming to seek help, Brother Steve. And, and hey, man, I believe there'll be some coming to deceive. And, hey, man, hey, man, I believe it not not what service it was. And, hey, man, they're coming to deceive, Brother Kenneth. And, but, hey, man, that's like Sister Amy, hey, man, said, hey, man, we got to know the difference. And, Hey man, have discernment, Brother Kenneth. And hey man, truly know those that are seeking God and those who meant to bring harm. Hey man. But hey man, I like to encourage you. Because I believe it, Brother Kenneth. And I believe many is right right on the edge of coming out of that oven, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, and and God begin to use them, begin to pour in. But, amen, it's only those, amen, that's going to stand, Brother Kenneth. Amen, keep pressing. Amen, regardless of how how hot that fire's turned up. But, amen, it's when we come out that other side, Brother Kenneth. Amen, been tested and tried. Amen, put through that fire. Amen, it's only then, Brother Kenneth. Amen, amen. <laughs> that I believe we'll begin to experience the deep things as things of God that he has for you. But amen, I like to encourage you. Amen, to keep pressing. Amen, keep pushing. Amen, it's been on my heart a lot in the past little bit. Amen, now's not the time to give up. Amen, that's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to throw in the towel and quit. And, Amen. Because you possess something that he'll never have the opportunity to have. That's the reason he battles you so hard. Amen. He had his opportunity, Brother Kenneth, and he he throwed it away. Amen. And that's it's the only way he can hurt God. Amen. Is get one of God's children to lay it down and to walk away. But amen, I like to encourage you tonight now is not the time to lay it down or walk away. But amen, keep pressing. As I said before, even if you're down to a crawl, you keep crawling. Amen, God will show up, Brother Kenneth. And amen, he'll make a way where there seemeth to be no way. Amen, for the word says, amen, he is the way, truth, and life. Amen, he is the only way tonight. Amen, but I believe there's some, amen, fixing to experience change like they've never experienced before. But amen, you got to keep pressing, keep hanging on. Amen, keep hanging on. But I'm thankful tonight, amen, for what I see God doing, amen, in people's lives, amen, and the change you begin to see, the change that God has done for people. Amen. I, God's already started, Brother Kenneth. Amen. It's up to me. It's up to each and every one of us. Amen, to just keep pushing. Amen, keep fighting. Amen, those spiritual battles each and every day. Amen, and God will always be right there with you, Brother Matthew. Amen, we may feel like we're all alone in the midst of that fire, but amen, we're not. God is right there with us. Amen, if God brought us to it, he's going to bring us out of it and through it. Amen, he'll make a way, Brother Kenneth. Amen, through it. But amen, I'm thankful tonight. Amen for what God's doing. Amen, I'm excited for what he's going to do, Brother Kenneth. Amen for those, amen, that love him and just refuse to give up, in other words. Amen. I like to encourage you. Amen, keep pushing and keep pressing. But amen, if we all would, we'll find us a place to pray tonight.